how to handle a top performer with a bad attitude. So what happens is that often we try to excuse behavior because of performance. Okay, this person is performing well, but they're making a problem for the rest of the team. So one of the things that I point to in terms of handling that is making sure that your organization has clear values and behaviors in place. Is in what is the way we do things around here and what is not acceptable behavior? Now, every time you allow something, every time you put something in place, it has a cost. So if we go back to this, how to handle a top performer with a bad attitude, you have benefits because of their performance, but then you have a cost because of their bad attitude. And odds are, my bet, is that you have a greater cost than you will a benefit over the sort of total scope of your organization. We think of values and behaviors and said another way, culture as like bacterial culture. So think of a bowl of fruit. If you have one moldy fruit in the bowl, what happens to the rest of the fruit? It molds, right? And so that's what happens when you have somebody with a bad attitude is that while they're driving results, it's beginning to mold the rest of the fruit. And then you have people that quit the organization, that are resigned, that don't want to contribute because of the impact of that top performer. So you're actually hurting your more organization more than it's benefiting it. Now, again, every scenario is different, but we've found that if you have somebody with a bad attitude and doesn't align with the values and behaviors, that you're going to have challenges. So our number one recommendation for that is go through the process of setting your organizational values so that it's explicit that what you expect of that person so that they can align with it and buy in. You know, when you go to somebody's house and you take your shoes off, if they don't take their shoes off in the house, then it'd be weird. If you expect a positive attitude in the organization and they don't exemplify that positive attitude, whatever that looks like, then they're living uh, against what you want and expect of people in your organization. So the number one thing I'd recommend, put clearly articulate the values and then clearly look at what is not acceptable behavior and then uh, address the non acceptable behavior. If you don't have that explicit, then they might not actually realize that they're doing uh, against the rules within the organization.